We cast Dennis before we ever had a word of anything on paper. Uh, David and I both loved Dennis and, and felt that he was just sort of, you know, the everyman cop of our dreams. And uh, we, we, we talked him into doing it and we made a deal with him before there was ever a word of anything on paper. It's a tremendous leap of faith on Dennis's part. You know, Dennis is the, is, is the beating heart of NYPD Blue. First of all, what he brings to it, pure and simple, is he's, he's, he's one of the finest actors working anywhere in America today, period. He's that good. Uh, this is a world-class uh, actor. Um, and he just brings that huge gift wrapped up in this mutt package, you know, he's just every man. You know, you look at him and you go, I know that guy. I believe that guy. That guy's like me, you know. Um, you know, he's, he's just, it's, a, it's actually a waste of time, you know, to, to talk much about those kinds of actors because they just simply are what they are. You know, it's a gift. And, and you just, you grab it and you run with it. You write to it, you, you know, whether it's a Judd Hirsch or a, you know, or a Michael Conrad or, you know, there are some actors that are just so utterly compelling that, you know, saddle them up <laughs> and jump on. And his friends has always been a rock, you know? I mean, he, he's just the heartbeat of this show. and. and He's a wonderful man, and, and, and the reason I think that character is so extraordinarily compelling is that inside the, the shell of this bigoted, violent, tortured, alcoholic personality is this wonderful man, you know, and it comes through all that stuff. And it made him such a profoundly compelling character that... Uh, you know, if Dennis walked away tomorrow, I'd walk away with him. I mean, I wouldn't do the show without Dennis. I mean, through all the changes and all the ups and downs and everything, Dennis has just been there. And he's the most consummate professional uh, and, and, and the, just the most wonderful guy. And it's a privilege. The second David's name came up, I just smacked myself and said, why didn't I think of that, you know? Because I'd worked with David Caruso uh, at MTM. David Caruso had, had had a reoccurring role on Hill Street Blues, and I'd always been enamored of his work. You know, he was such an interesting guy. Um, so we brought him in, and you know, he read, and he was really weird and interesting. And and I remember David Milch came into my office and closed the door and said, don't do this. Don't hire this guy. Don't do this to me. I can't. You know, he's crazy. He, I said, what are you talking to me? He said, trust me. I'm crazy. I know crazy. This guy's crazy. Uh, and David's also brilliant and a, and a genius. And so when he says something like that to me, you know, I pay attention. But ultimately, Caruso was so compelling, and I thought, you know, I don't care if he's crazy. We got to do this, and we did. Poor David Milch. He just he saw that train wreck coming. He saw it instantly. Uh, but even if I had seen the train wreck coming, I would have hired him because the train wreck was worth it. You know, this guy was so good. Uh, and he, he, you know, he, he made a real contribution to putting the show on the map uh, in its first year. And, and, and then finally at the end, it wasn't worth it. Because I couldn't, we couldn't tolerate that sort of a cancerous environment, you know, that, that he was the source of. So he just moved on. And I, I was never afraid to, to move on because I because I always felt you know that that it, that the star of the show was the show 
I won't spend a whole lot of time on David Caruso, you know. I mean, that's pretty well chronicled. You know. He's a complicated man, and I think he he indulged in a lot of self-destructive behavior, and 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 he wanted to go off and be a movie star, and you know. And I had a partner with heart disease, and you know, I thought David's going to drop dead on me, so. I can't, I, you know, I just can't have what, what I thought amounted to a cancer in our environment. And uh, so I let him go. Um, I, I certainly don't harbor any ill will.